So here at Crazy Demos used Tesla parts, people think we are crazy when they see what we've done with the two drive units. Let's have a look. So, what we have here is our front drive unit. Um, and as we saw in the last episode, we removed the inverter for reverse engineering duties. Since then, fitted uh, the offside drive shaft cup and we have connected it to the inverter from the large drive unit with, again, using some grossly inadequate uh, cabling. Now, I've been doing some reverse engineering work on the encoder. And the encoder on this unit here uses the same plug with the same connections. And hell, it's even got the same encoder count. So I thought, okay, what happens if we connect a large drive unit inverter to the small drive unit using the large drive unit encoder plug and we put some juice to this thing and give it a bit of throttle and what do you know it starts spinning let's have a look here we go bringing on the juice we are in AV encoder mode uh, we got about 45 volts on the DC bus and we're in closed loop So we're now running with the exact same parameter set as the large drive unit motor, including the encoder pulse count, encoder mode, motor poles, uh, voltages, currents, the whole lot. I'm not going to run for long because I'm not sure if there's any oil in the gearbox. There probably is enough, even if it was drained out, there's probably enough residual in there just to lube it for a few low power runs. Power on. Very smooth. Again, I'm just going to stop there just because we don't have any, you know, I haven't bothered to check the oil. So we can do more runs at higher voltages when I have that done. That's about it, folks. Quick little video for you. Uh, main reason for doing this is because there's very little point in me going ahead and uh, doing a lot of reverse engineering work and designing a PCB designing a PCB and all that fun stuff if this is some kind of a weird motor that we can't run with the current inverter design that we have. So yeah, it runs um, and we now need to continue with reverse engineering work. So if you like what I'm doing and you'd like to support it and see more of it, please visit the link in the description to my Patreon and consider making a donation. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and we will see you guys next time and uh, happy front drive unit motoring.